getting cleaned up a week after the storm. I needed to wash. Oh, yes, indeed. Malu's laundromat in River Ridge has calmed down a bit after a long couple of days with lots of customers. Some come with a load, others have 10. We were so overwhelmed the last three or four days that we actually gave out numbers. It's one of the only laundry spots keeping the machines spinning, thanks to a standby generator. They're sure not throwing in the towel. It's the beginning of a long journey. And neither is the SEAL family. They just got back to St. Charles Parish Sunday after they'd evacuated. Ida hit their roof hard, pumping water into their home below. Until the insurance company gets there, they're gutting what's been ruined. It's hard work. It, uh, it takes time. Um, but yeah, it's, it's manual labor. Repairs are going to be the, the piece that we need assistance on for sure. It's the first day back in business at the nearby El Paso Mexican restaurant. They're doing takeout only for now on a limited menu. Several employees haven't returned to town yet. Honestly, I just feel grateful and most of our, you know, workers that are here right now feel very grateful. Courtney Carter is grateful too. She's waiting outside the Beijing Chinese restaurant next door where owners spent the latter half of the weekend handing out free meals. Being eight and a half months pregnant, you know, in this heat and all, I can't go and stand on my feet all day and cook, so it's just a blessing for them to be here.